The 2019 season has been full of ups and downs. To see how far my team has come in just a short 24 races, it's been a long road, but we've put in a lot of hard work and it's all paid off. We've finally achieved the Auto Club uh, Road to the Future Award, and I couldn't be more proud of my guys. Uh, they've worked so hard. You know, I've had over 40 people work on this team this year, and uh, you know, it took all the way to the Western Swing to get a core group of guys together, and I couldn't have ended up with a better team. Uh, my crew chiefs, Ronnie Thompson and Mike Green, have done an excellent job. You know, they've been picking at this thing every weekend, and it seems like every weekend of this season we have improved. I didn't even think I was going to get to race this year. It was only a few short days before Pomona where we finally landed a sponsorship for this thing. Frank Teagues and Montana Brand came uh, on board and there was only three of us putting this car together all winter and uh, we had to figure out how to get it to Phoenix Test to get me licensed. So going into Pomona, you know, I should have been nervous. I'd never made a full pull down the racetrack in a top fuel dragster. Um, I had only had three hits under my belt in Phoenix Test and uh, going in there, Q1 was the first time I went to the finish line and went over 300 miles an hour in this Montana brand car. Um, it was an unbelievable weekend. You know, it's, it was really just a blur, you know, so many things were going on. I was the newest top fuel driver out there. Um, I had a brand new sponsor and it was just a hectic week trying to get everything, you know, completed. Going into Phoenix Test, we didn't have a wrap on the car. We didn't have the trailers wrap. We didn't have an awning. We didn't have these crew sh shirts that I'm wearing right now. You know, John Force had to pull a lot of strings to get this all put together. And, you know, we held our own that weekend. I, I beat my teammate, Brittany Force, in a pedal fest first round. That was the first time I've ever pedaled a race car. It was almost just instinct. I felt the thing rattle and, uh, you know, you make that decision in about four tenths of a second to get this car to recover. And the Lord was on my side that run and we turned on the wind light. Going into uh, second round, we actually canceled the race for rain on, on Sunday. and. My team was an entire fly-in team. Well, they had all had real jobs they had to get back to. So on Tuesday morning, since I took out Brittany, her team actually came over and prepared my race car uh, for second round on Monday. And we ran one of our best runs all season, ran 369 at 334 miles an hour and, and got beat by Mike Salinas in a, by a mere seven thousandths of a second. So the first weekend, it was unbelievable. And I think that really set the tone for uh, you know, winning this Rookie of the Year award and, and for the rest of the year. Throughout the middle of the season, you know, we had some lows. We, we stumbled a lot. We kept our heads down, kept working, and had our eyes on that one, that one goal of ours, and that was to win a race. And, uh, you know, come to the Western Swing, we started to show some hope again. And uh, at the end of the Western Swing in Seattle, we ended up getting the job done. That was a huge moment in my career. And, to achieve this award, it's a dream come true. This is probably the biggest victory uh, I've had in my racing career, but I couldn't have done it without my crew chiefs, Mike Green and Ronnie Thompson. You know, they've done an excellent job all season uh, preparing this car and, and making it go up and down the racetrack and giving me a shot to uh, be in this position. My team, you know, it, it was a long road trying to put this group together, but let me tell you, it was worth the wait. You know, every one of them is a close friend of mine and we have fun every single weekend. Montana Brand, AAA Auto Club, Peak, Advanced Auto Parts, and Team Chevy. John Force Racing, John Force and Robert Height for giving me this opportunity and uh, to get to you know live out my dream at 24 years of age, it's pretty cool. This wasn't just my rookie season uh, driving a top fuel drag through, it was this entire team's rookie season. You know, this is a whole new team that was assembled uh, throughout the 2019 season, you know, crew chiefs that had never worked together, crew members that have never worked together, and to see how far we've come, I wouldn't want to race with anyone else. It paid off. We won the Rookie of the Year award, and uh, I couldn't be more proud.